Coming up next on Win News, a suspected arson attack on a Clermont home. We meet Tasmania's Christmas baby and we cross to Brent Costello for a Sydney Hobart update. Across Tasmania, this is Win News. Tonight, a routine traffic stop turns ugly on the Hewan Highway. Arson suspected as a Claremont home goes up in flames. And a spectacular start to the Sydney Hobart Yacht Race. Good evening, I'm Melissa Russell. Also tonight we say hello to Tasmania's official Christmas baby and a dramatic rescue on the Tasman Peninsula. Police say an officer could have been killed in a dramatic Christmas Day incident on the Hewan Highway, allegedly reversed into twice during a traffic stop. As the hunt continues for the people involved, the 48-year-old constable is nursing some minor injuries, but his colleagues warn there could have easily been a tragic outcome. Around 12.30 yesterday, a police officer was conducting a routine traffic stop here on the Hewan Highway near Glendevy. A vehicle was pulled over without incident, but the situation took a violent turn. As he stopped the bike, the vehicle reversed into him, knocking off the bike. Police are making progress with their inquiries, but they urge anyone involved in the incident to come forward voluntarily. Information can be reported anonymously through Crime Stoppers. Imogen Elliott, Win News. A Claremont home has been completely destroyed after a suspected arson attack in the early hours of this morning. Two people were home at the time, but thankfully they were able to escape the burning house through the front door. Police sifting through the charred remains of a Claremont home. Crews called to the scene just after 2am, arriving to find the house fully alight. The damage bill is estimated to be $250,000. Judy Augustine, Win News. Two police officers have been hospitalised following a two-vehicle crash in Launceston. The incident occurred at the intersection of York and Bathurst Streets in the early hours of Christmas morning. The impact extensively damaged the police vehicle, which was travelling on York Street with emergency lights activated, while the tow truck laden with a van sustained moderate damage. Both officers received minor injuries and were discharged from the LGH, while the other people involved did not require treatment. Police would like to hear from anyone who may have CCTV or dash cam footage of the crash. One of the largest fleets in Sydney Hobart history is on its way south following a spectacular start to the 75th edition of the Blue Water Classic. For more, we cross to Wind Sports reporter Brent Costello, who's at Kings Pier. And Brent, the race is now five hours in. What can you tell us? Well, Mel, a short time ago, it was two-time Lion Honours winner Comanche leading the fleet down the New South Wales coast. But earlier there was a bit of a surprise. After a blistering start to the race, Info Track was the first yacht out of Sydney Heads. But as the afternoon went on, it was the race record holder that started to stamp its authority. For the 75th time, yachts of all shapes and sizes gathered in Sydney's famous harbour for the start of Australia's most iconic sailing event. Brent Costello, Win News. And Brent will be back with the race update and the rest of the day's sport a little later in the bulletin. Meantime, six rock climbers have been rescued after they became stranded on the candlestick at Cape Hoy. The climbers activated a beacon around 8 last night after being unable to make a return trip. Just before midnight, the group was spotted from the air and a paramedic was winched down and remained with the group overnight. Early this morning, the climbers were retrieved from the foot of Cape Hoy with the help of a police marine vessel. One female member of the party was transferred to the Royal Hobart Hospital after sustaining rope burns. The North West Regional Hospital in Burnie helped to deliver three babies yesterday, giving their parents a life-changing gift this Christmas. While a Christmas Eve arrival was certainly more than her Victorian parents expected while on holiday in Tasmania. Little Lawson Knoll Island arriving into the world just before 8.30 last night after a tough labour. Coming up next on Wind News, a bushfire update as we look ahead at the forecast conditions. And Tasmanians go crazy for the Boxing Day sales.
Tasmanians are being urged to stay vigilant over the coming days with the possibility of dry lightning sparking new fires. There are currently six bushfires burning in the south at no alert level, but there are fears conditions could fan the flames. Judy Augustine has more. Firefighters are bracing for high fire danger over the coming days with the Midlands, East Coast and Huon Valley all flagged as areas of concern. Incident controller Mark Klopp says there's been a rain deficit in those areas. And there was no Boxing Day relaxation for thousands of eager Tasmanian shoppers braving big crowds and long queues to snap up a post-Christmas bargain. The Small Business Council says it all adds up to a big boost to the state's economy with retailers cashing in and employees taking home double time and a half. While some were still thinking of their Christmas present haul... Lego, a huge Lego set and uh, some Joe, three Joe books. Holly Corbett, Win News. Consumer Advocate Choice has released a Boxing Day cheat sheet to help Australians avoid buying duds in this year's sale, urging shoppers to make sure they know their retail rights. For those looking to score a bargain during the Boxing Day sales, you may be at risk of snapping up a shonky product. Sport is next, where Brent Costello will rejoin us for the latest on the Sydney Hobart yacht race. Also tonight, a star-studded qualifying field announced for next month's Hobart International. Costello bringing you sport from Kings Pier tonight following the start of the 75th Sydney Hobart Yacht Race this afternoon. As you heard earlier, Comanche has made the most of favourable conditions to take an early lead, but before that it was a rival Super Maxi, first out of the heads. Celebrating its 75th year, the 2019 Blue Water Classic saw a significant spike in entries, with a fleet of 157 at the starting line this afternoon, the fourth largest in Sydney Hobart history. Well, of course, yachting isn't the only sport that has a major presence on December 26, with all eyes also on the Boxing Day test. Today was the second time Tasmanian Tim Payne has led his country out onto the MCG for the traditional clash. Moments in world cricket don't get much bigger than this. New Zealand, led by Captain Kane Williamson. Brent Costello, Win News. And Mel, that's all in sport from here at Kings Pier in Hobart. Tune in tomorrow night for more news from the great race, but for now, it's back to you. Thanks, Brent. Brent Costello there on Hobart's waterfront. And Hayley Francis is up next with all your weather details. Welcome back. Well, it was a cloudy morning for the Tamar Valley and about the west. Elsewhere saw generally fine conditions, sunny by the afternoon, except for the southwest and the east coast. Tonight's breathtaking weather shot is thanks to photographer Cam Blake, who recently went out rafting on the Franklin River. If you would like to see one of your photos on screen, all you need to do is email them to tasweather at windnetwork.com.au. Let's take a look around the state today. King Island started in the single digits, partly cloudy throughout the day. The mercury in Wynyard climbed into the high 20s as humidity hovered around 20%. Warm in Launceston too, 28 degrees, which is five above the monthly average. Strawn peaked in the high teens in the early afternoon. And east to south easterlies for Hobart throughout the afternoon, the mercury peaking at 22, just past 12.30. On the charts. High pressure systems lie to the east and west of Tasmania with a weak trough over the state. The high to the west will drift over Tasmania early tomorrow, then become centred over the Tasman Sea in the evening, allowing a northerly flow to develop. On to our waters. In the north, variable winds tending easterly up to 20 knots in the morning, seas up to one and a half metres. For the east, seas around one metre on a southerly swell. For the south, a southwesterly swell between two and two and a half metres. And in the west, variable winds, but mainly southerly and seas around one metre. Let's have a look at tomorrow's forecast. Fine, apart from possible drizzle about the northeast, light winds tending southeast to northeasterly in the afternoon and freshening about the north and east. Hobart headed for 21 degrees. And interstate Sydney will be sunny, as will Melbourne. Looking ahead, 
back home. Burnie can expect a slightly cooler day tomorrow before a warm start to the weekend. For those in Launceston, it will be hot over the weekend. Mercury tipped to crack the 30s on Saturday and in Hobart, hot on Saturday with winds easing and uncomfortably warm on Monday. The mercury headed for 37 degrees, so it's certainly starting to warm up now. Thanks Hayley and thanks for your company tonight across Tasmania this Boxing Day. That's how we saw your news. We'll see you at 6 o'clock tomorrow and don't forget you can follow us on Instagram. Thanks for making Win News your local news. See you tomorrow. Good night. This has been a Win News presentation. Win News, Regional Australia's number one news source.